By the way, I want to show you one boat. Now this boat sold. I'm not a fan of bright colors on boats, yellows and purples and stuff, but that era, that guy, obviously he picked his colors. That is just, that's a handsome boat. That, that little bit of purple he stuck in there, that is a really, really pretty boat. This isn't, this isn't even a customer order boat. This is a boat that we had ordered for inventory. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, and we've had, we ordered a purple era last year um and there's so many people that would walk up and look at it and it was a different design it had a little bit more silver and gray in it but and i look up and go man this is this is the prettiest boat i've ever seen i've never owned it but hey, it's the prettiest boat and uh, this year we changed it up with the malibu uh malibu purple which is a black with purple flake and then obviously the, that that just stunning super bright purple on the accents and um but it's just the right amount i mean it's not over the top it's exactly right some lsu fan Yes, I would be loving that purple. Oh, absolutely. Let's look at your U stuff over there. Yeah, absolutely. So, so by the way, I did not know this. They're, they do have one new, shoot, I'm pointing at myself. So they do have one new boat. So this one right here next to the little Honda scooter. <laughs> so this is a Lynx. Yeah, this is a 2022 Lynx, fully updated. Um, once again, the major things that you're gonna see on this boat are the, the 28 ounce carpet, the upgraded Sunbrella seats. Um, this is actually a you know a, a little bit more of a price point Lynx. Um, you're gonna have two Garmin Eco 10s on it at the console and at the bow, and then this one has the 57 inch Garmin Force trolling motor. And for y'all that don't know, this is actually a really big um, misconception around the Garmin 57 inch trolling motor. Everybody thinks that the Garmin 50 is the one that they need compared to the the Minn Kota Old Trex 52 inch shaft. The Garmin 57 is measured differently. So the Garmin 57 inch shaft is actually the same as the Gar as the Minn Kota 52. So when you're going to look for a new trolling motor and you want to switch to Garmin if you think you're going to need that longer shaft I highly recommend going with the 57. Don't think it's gonna be a monstrosity of a trolling motor if you've had or, or used a, a Minn Kota 52. Interesting. So do you know what they're measuring it from? Are they measuring it all the way to they're the top? They're measuring it all the way from the skeg all the way to the top, uh, right where the shaft begins, right before the head. So a super long, long um, overall shaft. And um, you know, Minn Kota measures their physical shaft, not their trolling motor head and, and top of the trolling motor. So that's your main difference. Your your Garmin. Uh, so I would say measuring this as Minn Kota does, this might be shorter than a 52. Might be just a little bit. Because I mean, I'm thinking that's, that's eight inches. That's four or five inches. So yeah, that, I mean, you, and you can even see how it sets up on the boat. It's not going way back, getting in the way. No, but there is a difference to it between the 50 because I run a 50. Um, we have 50s on the rest of our new boats that we order when it comes to Garmin. And um, there is a big difference. So that is, that, that's something I just wanted to point out. But this is our, our 2022 Lynx. This is uh, uh, another piece of brand new inventory that we have. You can check it out on our website at Ross Motorsports. Uh, but a lot of really good stuff going on with this boat. And we got a handful of used boats. Lightning detector. Do all yes. of them have it? Yes, all the new 2022 premium boats come with the lightning detector. They also come with your live scope switch on here. Um, and it's kind of hard to see on this boat, but you can see it right here. Your live scope switch. We have no power to this boat right now, but that's your live imaging switch that you can hook up there. Uh, a lot of really good add-ons for 2022. Mm -hmm. All right, so a couple boats he's got used back here. Yeah, so this is a 20... Uh, 17 Nitro Z20. Uh, the boat itself is in immaculate condition. I mean, if I had to guess, this boat probably has, right off the top of my head, I think it has 11 hours on it. I mean, truly, there are no hours. This boat's really been well kept. The fiberglass is in good shape. Um, you know, just a really, really good boat. Plus, you got the 12 foot talons, uh, Moran step binders, the whole nine yards. All right. Great. And then we got some cats. Absolutely. This boat, this boat is kind of like a Frankenstein boat. This is a 2021 hull with a 2019 motor on it. Uh, absolutely gorgeous Pantera Classic. Going to be loaded out with, with Hummingbird Helix depth finders at the bow. 
and at the console. You're gonna have your Minn Kota Ultrex, um, 200 horsepower Pro XS. I believe this boat clocks in right around, right around 200 hours, 190 to 200 hours. So, kind of a custom setup, but everybody that's actually taking a look at this graph setup has actually really liked it. Um, kind of a dual stack at the console. Um, I personally really like it. Yeah, but you're six foot three. That's true. That's true. But I don't think the five nine guy's gonna like that too much. No, but this boat. I mean, this boat for for someone who's the weekend warrior yeah. or someone who's looking in to get a uh, you know really well priced boat. This is I I can't tell you how much I would encourage you to take a look at, at the Pantera Classics. They're they're awesome. Still 74, 75 mile an hour boats in a nineteen uh, six package. Okay. All right, so what's this one, Hank? 2018 Carrot Cow, 235 hours. Uh, this boat, the customer actually put in a custom sea deck flooring down in the bottom of it. Uh, and that's one of those things, kind of a little bit before it's time, uh, but everybody wanted it. That reflex flooring, that sea deck flooring in the bottom of your boat, keep it nice and dry. Uh, this boat's also rigged out really, really nicely. You got two powerful blades. Uh, got a Hummingbird Solix 10, Helix 10 at the console on a Bass Boat Technologies dual mount. And then you have a Helix 10 up at the bow with your Minn Kota Ultrex. Uh, really, really nice boat. Um, has warranty out till 2025. So platinum warranty on the Mercury. And then moving over, we have another Pantera Classic. This is a 2020 model. Uh, beautiful, beautiful boat. Two hundred Pro XS four stroke blades, Hummingbird seven um, at the bow and the console with your old tricks. Once again, weekend warrior boat. Um, you know, one or two upgrades to your depth finders even, and this is a very competitive tournament boat um, any day of the week. How long is the Pantera? Nineteen and change. Nineteen six. Okay, and the Caracal. Caracal is nineteen eight. Okay, but your beam is. I mean, I would say one and a half times, but I don't want to get quoted on that. But it's, I mean, it's huge, huge difference. Yeah. This is this is your 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 baby links. That's a baby links. That's exactly what it, it really is. Okay. Another customer bought boat. That's a pretty boat. Again, those bright colors, but uh, yep, but really nice accent. Not overdone. That's a pretty boat. Hi right, guys, one last thing here at Ross. I walked in here and I saw something I don't know the last time I saw in a boat dealership. That's exactly right. What do y'all got, Hank? So right now we have actually, a, so we have a great selection of loose motors right now, ranging all the way from a 70 that we pulled off of a boat all the way down to short shaft 25s. Um, all of your uh, tiller handle models are gonna be electric start. Um, which is phenomenal. That is your, so cool. And your 25s also have the pull tab up front. So if you need to, if your battery goes dead or anything like that, we can get it running. But we have a really good selection and a good number of these right now heading into Christmas, going into spring for repowers. Um, so once again, give us a call, 936-634-6711. We'd be absolutely happy to get uh, y'all installed with one of these new ones. I sold one just yesterday um, to a gentleman and he is so happy about it. But long shaft and short shaft, uh, 25s, 40s. Um, I don't know when we're getting in any 50s or if we have any right now, that's gonna be something to definitely call and check with us. But you got one all the way up to 70. Yes, this is a loose motor um, that we have in that, that we're, we're right now we're willing to sell and get, get, uh, get you on a repower for. What year model is that motor? This one specifically, let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Because those are really hard to find. Yes. 21. 21, yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Y'all heard so. the voice of God in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Not God. Ryan. Good deal. I just thought you guys would, uh, somebody's probably interested in one of these. Somebody's probably been looking for one. 
and it's not something you see posted up on websites. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Yep, we're actually, as we speak, our, our, our owner, Scott Ross, is getting these all uploaded to our website. So you'll be able to see our, our up-to-date inventory and what we have physically here at the dealership. So once again, visit our website, Ross Motorsports, new, used, when it comes to motorcycles, side-by-sides, ATVs, four-wheelers, boat motors, um, pontoon boats. I mean, we got you covered, you know, 360 degrees.